Hey there, I'm Tom Monroe from Monroe Home Inspections. I'm on inspection today of a 22,000 square foot castle. It's in British Columbia, it's in Gibsons, BC actually. And uh, this home is actually 22,000 square feet, 12 bedrooms, 15 bathrooms. It's on 53 acres of beautiful landscape. I'm going to take you inside today not to show you deficiencies, but actually to show you the kinds of things that power a home like this. That uh, roof that's up behind me is actually hand split slate tiles directly from Germany. There's well over 300,000 tiles. They have two small holes that actually mount them in place. I'm going to show you a bit more as I go around the home. So let's go have a look, shall we? So, what heats this beautiful big home? Well, actually, water. Water that's pumped out of the ground. Go through that small filter, just take any small debris pumped into the ground there and actually goes up to a storage tank that I'll show you in a second. So this water is pumped out of the ground. This, this well is actually 260 feet deep. They found a nice uh, aquifer that is about nine feet wide. Um, it's all made of uh, pea gravel and they, they're drawing about 50 US gallons a minute out of that aquifer. Pump station there. Let me show you that tank. So the water, half the water is actually pumped up to this tank. This tank's about 1500 liters. That four inch line right there brings water back down to the house. It's gravity fed. The water leaves that four inch pipe, that 1500 gallon tank, and it actually comes here. This is the main gas line. What we have here is we have that four inch line back at the ground there coming in. This is the control valve there. It comes in here, it comes in this first pump. This pump here actually pumps the water around the whole entire house, and so not just the cold, domestic cold water. The second pump, the green one here, that's actually for the irrigation system that starts having some. There's an the irrigation system all around the home. And the third one, if you look at the back of the wall, that's a back check valve and a main valve and a proper line. That water then brings the water to these four heat pumps. Uh, sorry, heats the water from all the flooring, the in-floor heating around the whole house. Now, how does the heat pump work? Inside there, a bunch of coils. And those coils are refrigerant. And that refrigerant actually extracts any warmth out of the water, any heat out of that water. Actually then sends the hot water, transfers the, the uh, heat through a, uh, a radiator, back through there. The water comes out of here, and you see all those insulated lines. Leads up to this 700 gallon storage tank. The 700 gallon storage tank is then used to heat all the indoor heating for the whole home. Up here, there's actually another geothermal heat pump up there, and that actually is heating the domestic hot water. So, it comes across and comes into this blue tank, so we'll pump on top. Blue tank here is about 200 gallons. Now, from here it actually goes all the way through the house. And any warm, any water that actually is uh, not used, constantly circulates back into the tank. If you read it, it actually goes. It's quite amazing process. It heats this beautiful hot tub and swimming pool. Believe it or not, that water supply coming out of the ground, being pumped at the ground, in the backyard, powers the swimming pool and it's mechanical. So because this house is so large, what they've done is they've taken the domestic hot water and they put it on a loop. So uh, being that the, the bathrooms on the far, far side of the house are so far away from that mechanical room, they constantly circulate the hot water so that the water can actually uh, be, when you turn the hot water taps on, it's instantly hot. What they've done actually is also sent the water through these heat exchangers. There's two heat exchangers there down to these white, you can see the white pipes, those white pipes that takes the warm, now warmed water from the pool, sends it back down through the pool system and into the pool. And essentially, they're almost heating the pool for free. It's a whole lot cheaper than any natural gas or electrical uh, heaters that typically are used. So what happens to all the water? It uh, comes out after it's been used to heat up. It comes down here, the water pouring in there. It actually drops back down into the ground there. Where does it go? I'll show you in a second. So after the water is discharged from the heat pumps, it actually is fed via gravity down through the underneath the grass here. And it comes up through that 
call it bird bath, in the middle of this little man-made lake. Once it settles in here, it goes down this waterfall into a man-made one-acre lake. Now, if he doesn't have a constant feed of water, this lake will dry out in the summertime. It's full of fish. It's actually talking full of fish. So it was an absolute pleasure to inspect this home. It's great to see someone using geothermal heating to heat the domestic hot water, the in-floor heating, the pool and the hot tub, and then discharge into a lake that he's made for fish to swim in. When you think home inspections, think Monroe Home Inspections. With MHI, it's certified.